Chennai is often thought of as the SaaS hub of India. It's where software as a service giants like Freshworks and Zoho began. But there's plenty of other markets too, besides SaaS, being disrupted and revolutionized thanks to Chennai-based startups. And because of this, the city attracts talent from across Tamil Nadu and India as a whole. It's one of the key startup hubs of the country, challenging the likes of Bengaluru and Delhi NCR. And so in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the top 10 Chennai-based startups, coming up right after this. Okay, just one more thing before we get started here. This video is brought to you by our longtime sponsor, Taskade. And make sure to click on the link in the pinned comment or description down below and use offer code BWM at checkout to get a 100% lifetime discount on this amazing team collaboration tool. And also stick around until the end of the video so that we can tell you more about it. It's actually pretty great. And we've been using it every single day for the last six months here at Backstage with Millionaires. Starting things off at number 10, we have marine robotics startup Planis Technologies. Founded by Rakesh Sirikonda, Tanuj Junjunwala, and Vinit Upadhyay in 2015, Planis Technologies providing their customers with underwater robotic inspections using their indigenously manufactured remotely operated vehicles, or ROVs. These underwater ROVs are capable of carrying different kinds of payloads and sensors to conduct these inspections. And so far, the company has developed and built a fleet of six ROVs which have been used by their clients to successfully execute over 125 commercial projects, like the inspection of dams, bridges, ships, ports and terminals. To date, Planis Technology has raised $4.1 million from their investors to continue doing this unique underwater robotic work. Next up at number nine, we have electric flying taxi startup, the e-plane company. So traffic is a big problem in Indian metro cities. In fact, cities like Mumbai, Bengaluru and Delhi consistently end up on lists of the top cities in the world with the worst traffic congestion. So back in 2019, an IIT Madras professor, Satya Chakravarti and his student, Pranjal Mehta, founded the e-plane company to solve this problem by taking to the skies. They're building an electric compact flying taxi called the E200. It's like a combination of a helicopter and an airplane. Once completed, the E200 will be a two-seater vehicle with a 200 kilometer range controlled by a human pilot. The startup has already begun testing the scaled down version of this e-plane and they expect to roll out cargo carrier versions of the e-plane as early as next year. To help them achieve their ambitious dreams, they've already raised $6 million from their investors and are hoping to begin commercial operations in the not too distant future. Moving into number eight now, we have NFT marketplace infrastructure provider Guardian Link. Founded by Arjun Reddy, Kameshwaran Elangovan, Keor Patel, and Ramkumar Subramaniam in 2016, Guardian Link is enabling their customers to build their own NFT marketplaces using the startup's APIs. They offer customized NFT marketplace solutions for artists, gamers, and celebrities, and are already being used to support more than 40 branded NFT marketplaces globally. One of the most noteworthy of these marketplaces is Beyond Life, which has featured popular NFTs like Asia's first metaverse wedding NFT collection and NFT projects featuring Amitabh Bachchan, Kalpana Chawla, and Stan Lee. After bootstrapping the startup for five years, they finally raised $12 million in 2021 from Kalari Capital to help them enter the NFT gaming space and build the biggest cricket metaverse in the Web3 world. Coming in at number seven now, we have space tech startup Agni Cool Cosmos. Founded by Srinath Ravichandran and Moin SPM in 2017, Agni Cool Cosmos is on a mission to democratize space by building their own customizable rocket called Agnibun. This rocket will be able to launch small satellites weighing up to 100 kilos into space. And the startup made headlines last year in 2021 when they successfully test fired the world's first 3D printed rocket engine, which they fabricated in just 72 hours. With these kinds of innovations, Agni Cool Cosmos is trying to significantly reduce the time and complexity involved in building rockets. And the startup is expected to launch their first rocket into space sometime in 2022. So far, their investors have poured $14.5 million into the company to further their mission of democratizing space. Next up at number six, we have AI startup Mad Street Den. Founded in 2013 by husband-wife duo Anand Chandrasekharan, who is a neuroscientist, and Ashwinya Sokan, who is a product designer, along with Costa Cobert, Mad Street Den was started to capitalize on the e-commerce boom that was happening at the time. See, as more and more retailers were getting online, e-commerce platforms were scrambling to keep track of hundreds, if not thousands, 
of product SKUs, that stock keeping units. That's what you're seeing when somebody scans a barcode on a product at checkout in a physical store. They're scanning the SKU to register your purchase in the system and also mark the unit as sold. But in e-commerce, even before an item is sold, it needs to be correctly identified so that an SKU can be assigned to it. And this repetitive task was being done manually. Employees would visually identify a product and manually assign it an SKU. And that's where Mad Street Dent saw an opportunity. After spending two years researching and building their AI and computer vision technology from scratch in India, they launched their flagship product, View.ai, in 2016 in the United States. With View.ai, retailers now had a platform that would automatically identify products like, for example, a t-shirt, registering its unique traits, like for example, the t-shirt is red and has a crew neck collar, and then assign it an SKU. Today, they have a bunch of other features and products on their platform, which are helping retailers to get online easily using Mad Street Den's digitization and automation tools. So far, their investors have poured $21.2 million into the startup to help them continue bringing AI to e-commerce. Moving on to number five now, we have cross-border supply chain startup WizFreight. Founded by Ram Kumar Govindaraj and Ram Kumar Ramachandran in 2020, WizFreight is simplifying the process of booking and managing cross-border shipments for importers and exporters. They're doing this by digitizing the entire process. Importers and exporters can book shipments online, track them at all times, and access digital payments, all from a single platform. With a network of over 2,000 vendors and carriers, WizFreight is helping more than 1,500 enterprises to ship their products. And despite the fact that they started in the middle of the pandemic when global supply chains were heavily disrupted, WizFreight is today running a profitable business and has been growing at a rate of 20% month on month for the last year. Now they're planning to expand internationally, starting with 15 countries in Southeast Asia, the Middle East, and Africa. And so far, their investors have poured $42.5 million into the startup so that they can continue to innovate in the highly fragmented $2 trillion global shipping industry. Coming in at number four, we have B2B agri-commerce startup Waycool. Founded by Karthik Jayaraman and Sanjay Dasari in 2015, Waycool started its journey as a B2B food supply chain startup called Sunnybee. But after realizing that the margins for this business weren't wide enough to build a sustainable company at scale, they decided to pivot to a farm-to-fork B2B business model in 2017. Waycool now offers its customers end-to-end -end food supply chain solutions like farm inputs, food processing, branding, marketing, and last mile distribution. By controlling the entire supply chain, Waycool has enabled more than 100,000 customers to gain access to fresh fruits and vegetables, while also increasing the income for the 85,000 farmers that Waycool sources its produce from. To date, their investment Investors have poured $221.5 million into the startup, valuing Waycool at around $460 million, according to Ntracker. Next up at number three, we have financial infrastructure provider M2P Fintech. Founded by Madhusudanan R, Mutukumar A, and Prabhu R in 2014, M2P Fintech is building next generation fintech and neo banking products. So, the way that their service works is this if somebody, for example, a fintech company or a bank, wants to build a banking product in collaboration with multiple banks, instead of going to different banks themselves and starting the process from scratch, these companies can simply access M2P Fintech's network and all of their APIs from a single platform. Work that would have taken months now takes days, which is why more than 30 banks and over 500 fintech startups across Asia and Africa are working with M2P Fintech, including major neobank startups like Neo Solutions, Jupiter, Unicards, Slice, Cred, and Razorpay. And the best part is that M2P Fintech has been able to do this profitably, which is one of the reasons why they didn't raise any external funding until 2020. In just the last two years, their investors have poured $107 million into the startup, valuing them at $605 million. And these funds have paved the way for M2P Fintech to make an even larger impact in the global fintech market. Moving on to number two now, we have debt marketplace startup Cred Avenue. Founded by Gaurav Kumar in 2020, Cred Avenue is offering a platform for businesses and enterprises to secure debt from banks and other financial institutions. Gaurav was able to build this company on his own as a single founder thanks to his previous work in the lending space, where he spent over 16 years. He co-founded fintech startups like Vivriti Capital and Vivriti Asset Management. Learning from these experiences, Gaurav and his team have managed to build Cred Avenue into a trusted platform for companies to access multiple types of loans, and they also facilitate investing for financial institutions, enabling them to keep track of their lending portfolio through a single platform. 
With more than 2,300 corporates, 450 enterprises, and 750 lenders on their platform, Cred Avenue has already facilitated loans worth $10.5 billion. To date, their investors have poured $226.7 million into the startup, making them a unicorn at a $1.3 billion valuation in less than two years of operations. Now, at this point in the video, you might be surprised by how few SaaS startups we've actually mentioned, given that Chennai is the SaaS capital of India. Yes, we did mention Mad Street Den, but otherwise, we've mainly been talking about underwater ROVs and flying taxis, NFTs, rockets, fintech, logistics, agritech. But now I actually do want to talk about SaaS, and specifically a service that we here at Backstage with Millionaires have actually been using on a daily basis for more than six months now, Taskade. So the idea behind Taskade Cascade is actually pretty simple. It's a cascading approach to task delegation and management. Let me explain. So let's say that you've got a project. For example, you want to make a video about the top 10 Chennai-based startups. And you've got a team of people who can help you to complete that project. But how do you go from point A to point B? Point A being the project as an idea, but no real runs on the board. And point B being, in this case, a finished video. Well, that is where Taskade really shines. First, you break your project up into tasks. Then you assign each of these tasks to a specific person. I like to do this in the action view as I'm the leader of our video editor team here at Backstage with Millionaires, and then you give your team members deadlines to complete each task. Once this is done, you can easily track the project's progress at a glance using Taskade's new calendar view, either in the monthly view, weekly view, or daily view. And this approach to project completion has actually helped us a lot in becoming productive and efficient as a team here at Backstage with Millionaires, because before this, we were exclusively using WhatsApp for all of our projects, and it was honestly a nightmare. Now, I've shared a handful of project views here that fit our use case of making videos, but maybe you're gonna use Cascade for something different, like personal projects or brainstorming sessions with your team. And for those use cases, Cascade has you covered too. You've got the board view for all of your important tasks with deadlines, You've got the mind map view for creating flow charts and the organization chart view for hierarchical situations. And I'm really just scratching the surface here of what you can do with this amazing all-in-one collaboration platform for you and your remote team to chat, organize, and get things done. But if I've piqued your interest, if you think that you might want to try Taskade out, you should know that it's completely free for the first 1,000 BWM viewers who click on the link in the description or pinned comment down below. And that's free forever. I'm talking unlimited lifetime access to Taskade. So again, clicking on that link in the pinned comment or description down below is a no brainer, seriously. But make sure to use offer code BWM at checkout to gain access to this free subscription to Taskade. And also thanks to Taskade for sponsoring this video. And finally, coming in at number one, we have SaaS startup Chargebee. Back in 2010, Chris Subramanian and Raja Raman Santanam were regularly exploring new ideas on forums like Hacker News and Jolan Software to find an idea that they could turn into a SaaS product. They even incorporated a company, BubblePath, in 2010 before they'd even found an idea, the product that they would eventually build. They just knew that they wanted to be entrepreneurs. Then later on, when Theo Gramantiagu and Sarvanan KP from Zoho joined them as co-founders, they were able to hone in on a problem worth solving, reoccurring billing and payment subscriptions for SaaS startups. They called this solution Chargebee and launched it in 2011. The SaaS market in India was growing quite a bit at the time, and so Chargebee's platform aimed to allow SaaS companies to focus on building great products while not having to worry about one-time payments, recurring payments, discounts, trials, or building subscription models for different kinds of customers. Chargebee was designed to handle all of that so that SaaS companies could focus on more important things. Today, Chargebee has more than 3,000 customers, a majority of which come from the United States and Europe. And so far, the startup has raised $468.2 million from their investors valuing them at $3.5 billion. All right, that was our list of the top 10 Chennai-based startups. And now a couple of footnotes. Firstly, we didn't mention Zoho on this list because we don't consider them to be a startup. They were founded back in the 90s, and that's just too old, in our opinion, to qualify. And we also didn't mention Freshworks because they are a publicly traded company, so they're no longer a startup. And any other startup that you think probably should have qualified for this list might not have put, been put on the list because they might not have 
have raised enough funds from investors or they might not be valued as high as the other startups that we mentioned on this list because those were two metrics that we did consider while we were deciding which startups to put on this list. Ultimately, there's a ton of amazing Chennai-based startups that we wish could have been put on this list, but we just don't have enough time to squeeze everybody in. So feel free to comment down below and let us know which startups you think should have been on this list instead of the ones that we mentioned. But either way, guys, that's enough from my side. I really hope that you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.